I have been harsher on MSNBC than I think any other network, and that's because MSNBC is often looked to as the left-wing version of Fox News. But <laughs> that couldn't be farther from the truth. I will say, though, that at least in terms of one host on MSNBC, Chris Hayes, I do think he has gotten better and better and better. And he is starting off 2019 with, I think, uh, a fantastic commitment to how he will report on the 2020 race. Watch. You've probably heard by now that Senator Elizabeth Warren has made it official she will be running for president in 2020. You've also likely heard a lot of the by now standard punditizing about what it all means with various hot takes about whether she can avoid being pinned as unlikable or whether her drinking a beer in her kitchen was sufficiently authentic or whether because she didn't run in 2016, she's missed her moment. Now, as someone in the business of covering and analyzing American politics, I am genuinely sympathetic to the ways in which the insatiable demands for content means a fair amount of shallow, quick takes on optics and electability, what have you. But I want to offer some advice to you, the viewer and voter, and really out loud to myself as a kind of New Year's resolution as we enter the presidential campaign. Ignore that nonsense. Seriously, 2016 represented the reductio ad absurdum of a political media industrial complex addicted to the spectacle and personal drama. And it is our job, all of our job, to do better this time around. So, well. There will be plenty of reasons to legitimately scrutinize the political successes and failures of various candidates, their messages, strategies, approaches, inconsistencies. What should count most for us doing the covering and for you out there making the decisions about who to support and vote for ultimately is what the candidate's worldview is, what their platform calls for concretely, how they've conducted themselves in the past as a window into how they might be in the future, and what we can best find out about their mettle and their judgment. Who will they fight for? What will they fight for? Can they be trusted to do what they say? Everything else is noise. And trust me, there will be an awful lot of noise in the next 22 months. We're committed to try to turn down the din and listen and ask and get questions and answers about what matters. All right, so I'm glad Chris Hayes did this, and it's a little surprising, but he's completely right. This is a large part of the issue with 2016. The focus was so much on, oh, is this person electable? Is Bernie Sanders electable? But the focus should be on the platform, on the policy, the popularity of those policies, because when the focus is on that, you actually inform people on the issues and then you better inform the voter in order to vote for the person that they feel would benefit them if they voted or if they won. So if there was this sort of approach to covering 2016, I think Bernie Sanders would have easily far and away won the nomination uh, for the Democratic Party in, uh, in 2016 against Hillary Clinton. But because the coverage was so much focused around Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders was, was largely ignored, especially at the beginning. And even when Bernie Sanders was talked about, he was talked about as some just some crazy old man who, oh, sure, he, he has some support, but, you know, there's no way he can win. No one knows who he is. All this, it was all around the drama. But if you focus on the policies and the history of the person and who they fight for, I mean, this sort of approach to covering elections benefits a progressive candidate so again take for example bernie sanders history if you focus on their history well bernie sanders has a history of being uh, on the right side of every issue being on the correct side of every issue like on gay rights like on racial justice like on epic uh, economic justice uh, justice on, on income inequality on climate change bernie sanders has a history of being on the correct side of these issues before anybody else if you look at who uh, who does he fight for well, he wasn't taking corporate PAC money or any big donor money. He was running on small individual contributions with the grassroots movement. It's clear he was fighting for actual people. So again, you have a kind of coverage where if anybody watching it can understand, okay, this is somebody like Chris Hayes covering the news the way it should be covered. They're covering what this candidate is about, what they represent, their history on these issues. Can they be trusted based on that history and based on who they fight for and where they take their money from? This benefits, this kind of approach benefits candidates like Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, both who aren't taking big donor money and both who have strong, progressive, popular platforms when you look at the actual polling on the issues. So 
I mean, that is a large reason why <laughs> 2016 Bernie Sanders wasn't covered properly, because the media, uh, in terms of MSNBC, CNN, Fox News, there is a corporate media bias. They are massive corporations. They make billions and billions of dollars. So why would they cover someone like Bernie Sanders properly? But if you have the occasional host like Chris Hayes doing it properly and still allowed to be on television, then you hopefully have a better informed electorate that end up voting for what is actually in their best interest and not who they think has a better chance of winning or uh, or uh, who they think may or may not be on their side based on whatever personal drama is going on. They actually look at the policy, at the platform, at the history and who they fight for. And that's what matters most.